Hi guys, so I'm gonna be showing you how to use this glitter iron on transfer sheet from start to finish. Um, I'm gonna cut out my pattern. And for my pattern, I'm going to be using the continent of Africa. Okay, so this is the glitter paper. It's just one sheet, pretty thin. And you wanna line it up as best as possible to get the most of your paper. So mine is about right here. Well, let me scoot it up so you can see. About right there for me. So I'm just gonna cut this out. And then after, um, I'll come back. Cause I'm gonna end up ironing mine onto um, a backpack. You can use a t-shirt, but I wanna try a backpack. I've never used the glitter paper. So this will be interesting, okay? Guys, this is a bit difficult, especially with like shapes that are kind of intricate, especially with the paper kind of flopping all around. And if you're trying to get it as perfect as possible, it's not going to be as easy as like doing a heart. I just want to say that now. So as you can see, it's, I can just go over it and try and fix any mistake it's not going to be perfect of course but it's pretty close so i'm happy the only thing i'm missing is madagascar <laughs> okay guys as you can see i have my backpack here i have my image sat on the spot that i wanted um the i looked online and backpacks are made of i think it's polyurethane or poly something which is another name for nylon so on my iron setting, I just set it to one, which is the setting for nylon. Um, I do know I've tried other iron-ons and they will tell you to put on a lower setting, but sometimes you do have to up the heat. So if this does not work with the nylon setting, I will come back and just up the heat to a higher heat setting. Like I'll go to cotton for a little bit just to get it really, really hot and then take it back down. Okay, but I'll let you know. Okay guys, so I just took my, oh sorry, so I just took my ironing board, you can't see it back here, and I just kind of maneuvered it so it's on the table so I have a more sturdy base. Okay, so I have this, um, this is like a piece of, I guess you can say parchment paper, and so I'm going to place it over my image, and then we're going to iron and see how this works. It says place firmly for 40 seconds. Oh, it's actually working, guys. Seriously, so. So I'm just holding it a little longer than 40 seconds. I'm just iron, ironing over it to make, especially on the edges, to make sure the edges don't pop up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift and let's see. Okay guys, wow. It works. Okay, that's so freaking cool. Yeah, it came, it's not peeling. Um, the directions say if for some reason it's starting to peel up, just take your paper, put it back over it, and reset for another 40 seconds. Okay, 